Hello everyone, this is Zhuang from KenHub, and on this tutorial we will be looking at the anatomy and functions of the adductor longus muscle, which is the muscle that you can see now isolated on the screen. Now let's get straight into it. Before we look at the functions and movements of the adductor longus muscle, let's first look at its anatomy. As you can see in the image, it is a triangular or fan-shaped muscle, which extends from from the anterior aspect of your pelvis to then the posterior aspect of your thigh bone or femur. The adductor longus muscle is one of the adductor muscles of the thigh, also known as the hip adductors. These muscles, which are six in total, are all located along the medial thigh, tucked in behind muscles of the anterior compartment. The adductor muscles of the thigh are arranged into three layers. Our muscle of interest, the adductor longus muscle, along with the neighboring pectineus muscle, are the most anterior of this group. As you know, all muscles are innervated by a certain nerve, and the adductor longus is, of course, no different. Like most of the adductor muscles, the adductor longus muscle is innervated by the anterior division of the obturator nerve, which originates from the lumbar plexus, specifically the anterior rami of the second through fourth lumbar nerves, which are seen here highlighted in green on the image. Let's take a moment now to look more specifically at the attachment sites of the adductor longus muscle. Zooming in at the origin, we see that the muscle originates from the anterior aspect of the body of the pubis, just inferior to the pubic tubercle. This attachment is particularly prone to overload during exercise and often is a cause of sports-related groin injury or strain. The adductor longus muscle continues posterolaterally from its origin into a large broad belly before inserting into the middle third of the linea aspera, which is the rough longitudinal ridge which runs along the posterior surface of the femur. The medial border of the adductor longus muscle also forms the medial boundary of the femoral triangle, which gives the passage to several major neurovascular structures of this area, namely the femoral artery, vein, and nerve. Now we're ready to move on to the functions of the adductor longus muscle. We are going to look at three main actions which this muscle is involved in. The first function is no surprise, and as its name suggests, the adductor longus muscle is primarily involved in adduction of the thigh at the hip joint, meaning it acts on the hip joint to move the thigh medially or towards the midline of your body, as you can now see on the screen. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.